Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you or be discussing with you Honeybook Client Management Tutorial for Beginners. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we start using Honeybook Client Management here? Well, the first thing that you want to do here is you need to go to their official website. So, in their official website, there are a bunch of things that you can view first here before you could actually start using. Now, in this case, Sunnybook is a platform which, in this case, allows you to do a number of things here. Like, for example, send invoices, sign contracts or manage contracts, book and schedule appointments, or automate workflows, and even track inquiries, manage our project management, send forms and questionnaires, and accept online payments. So, in this case, when you ever, ever scroll down a bit here, there's a few things that you could also use it for, like professional invoices, secure payments, and a lot more. Now, if you want to learn more about Honeybook here, you could go ahead and scroll on their website and view the details about it. So, in this case, since we want to start using this one, let's go ahead and start our free trial. Because in this case, you could actually start your free trial here without the use of any credit cards. So, if you're just looking to try your service, well, in this case, you can go and start using it. Now, for example, maybe I want to send forms and questionnaires here. Let's go ahead and click on it and just click on start free trial. And it's going to say to start where is home. So in this case, you can go and click on somewhere else or USA or Canada. So if you choose somewhere else, it's going to say want to know when you're available in your country. So in this case, you need to provide uh, or basically provide your company email here and which country you're currently based at. So in this case, uh, if you're in another country, you might not be, or you might be, you you will not be able to use a uh, Honeybook here. But then again, if you're in USA or Canada, you should be able to start signing up with your account here. So with your account, you need to provide some details about yourself, like for example, your full name, email, as well as a password that you want to use for your account. You can also sign up with your Google account here if you want to. So go ahead and click on it, and just choose your email account here. Let's go and click on continue and that should actually create our account and continue on with our business. Now in this case, it's now going to ask you tell us about your business. So in this case, go ahead and provide your business name, your company type, your phone number and how did you hear about us. So in this case, go ahead and go to the business name section here. So for example, I want to say it is going to be my business name company type is going to be on the uh, maybe content creation here now phone number you could go and provide your phone number here and how do you hear about them so in this case uh, maybe I want to say this is from a YouTube now from here let's go and provide all the details required here now the next website or next page here it's going to say let Honeybook jumpstart your account so in this case you can go ahead and provide your company website here if you want to but for now let's go and click on no thanks and what do you want to start with so you can start with invoices contracts scheduling crm service guide and lead capture so in this case you could go and choose whatever here so for example i'm going to choose lead capture now let's get you started or let's get you started with honeybook here so in this case what are the main tools you use for your business so for example i'm going to say google docs here and how long have you been or had your business? So in this case, go ahead and indicate what is or what applies to you and what is what is your average annual business revenue. So let's just say this is around 0, uh, 0 to 5K here as an example. And let's go and click on next. Now, do you work or do you mostly work with businesses or individuals? So in this case, go ahead and provide uh, what uh, service. Let's go ahead and provide this one. And uh, from here, let's go ahead and click on next to proceed on the next page. It's going to say personalize your account with brand elements. Now, in this case, uh, you could go ahead and do anything that you want here. So in this case, usually it's going to welcome you within the platform itself and uh, give you a short tutorial here if you want to. Now, also, you have the option to personalize your account with brand elements like, for example, providing your logo, your profile picture. And uh, in this case, you can go ahead and do that as well. But for now, let's go ahead and click on do this later here. So, uh, how do we start using uh, Honeybook here? So, obviously, like what I said before, there are a lot of things that you could do here in Honeybook. But we'll be focusing on one section since we want to actually introduce uh, the actual uh, platform itself to you. 
So there's a few things that you could do here. So first is your homepage here, which in this case you have or you'll be able to see general ideas about your um, current uh, shop or your business. Like for example, how many leads you have right now, unread messages, tasks, and 24, 2024 bookings. Now, you might be running why task here because in this case, you could actually create tasks within the platform itself. Uh, in this case, it actually allows you to uh, basically use or basically use automation here. So think of automation here as a way for to, uh, to basically automate a few things like for example if you want to capture some leads and create a task or you need to so uh, do uh, something uh, actually personally personally that you need to do within the platform itself so you could create tasks within the platform through the use of automation now in this case again there's a few things that you can uh, see here like your activities your calendar so the general ideas about your project or your business now if you go to a project here this actually contains your projects from the name itself. So in this case, this allows you to manage your project. So let's go and click create a project here as an example. And you could just basically choose your project name, the project type, the lead source, so may it be on email, Facebook, or Google, and you have the start date and start time. You could also set the time zone here if you want to. Now, we also have the clients here, which in this case contains different things or features for our regarding our clients. So in this case, if you choose contacts here, this will actually contain details about your or basically contacts of your clients. So if you want to add a contact, you go and click on add contact here and I do choose client lead or organization. So in this case, before we were asked uh, how or how do we interact with uh, our clients. So maybe if you're dealing with uh, individuals, you could choose client lead here. Here, or if you're dealing with organizations, you go and choose organization and set a contact person for that. Now, you could also import a file, which in this case, you need to upload a file here, which in this case, a CSV file that contains up to 500 contacts. So if you already have prepared or if you're coming from a different platform, you could actually upload them in here. Now, lead forms is a way for you to basically create forms to uh, create leads, which in this case is a great way for you to uh, get new opportunities or even uh, create new projects for your company or for your business. You also have Chrome extension here if you want to install the extension for HoneyBook on your Chrome so you'll be able to access it immediately. And uh, also you have batch emails here. Now, we also have files here, which in this case contains our files. You should also, in the file section, it also contains invoices and contracts. Now, uh, from the name itself, all files, we're going to need all the files that we have right now on our account. So it also allows us to view our invoices if you have any and also contracts if you have like existing projects that you want to manage. So in this case, uh, you could go ahead and start viewing them in this section here. Now you could also view templates here. So maybe like, for example, for file templates, templates for services that you offer, templates for emails, and template ga gallery here. So if you want to rapidly create uh, some templates here, you could get, uh, basically get one from the template gallery here if you want to. So as you can see, there's a bunch of templates that you could choose here. Like for example, agreement amendment here, a pricing guide for creatives, a mood board with adjectives. So you could go and choose templates in this section here. There are going to be different industries here. Go ahead and choose whatever applies for you. Like also have the type, like for example, contracts, pricing, brochures, invoices, so depending on what you need. Now we also have the automation section here, which allows us to, well, from just from the name itself, create steps for us to automate our business. So automating our business is a great way for you to save time on certain steps. Like for example, if a lead form was submitted uh, via the platform itself within HoneyBook, you can actually create tasks within the platform itself. So those are just a few things that you can actually do within the uh, automation section here. But obviously, there, again, there's going to be a lot of things that you could do here in HoneyBook. Now, I also have tools here, which includes uh, calendars, scheduler, uh, integrations. If you want to further ed expand the integrations or functionalities within HoneyBook here, we have tasks like what I mentioned before, time tracker and library here. Also have finances if you want to view your payments, your report, expenses, and profit loss reports, or even your banking details. So in this case, those are the basics on how to use HoneyBook here and what are the things that you should know within the platform itself. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.